veggie. Uh, no, let me think of how to do that. Um, okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to Need No Gluten. Today we're going to be reviewing all of the Go Veggie products. And even more, I want to thank Go Veggie for supplying all these products in exchange for an honest review. So, I used every single product in a different way, and we're going to give them all a try. Okay. So, we'll these are cheeses? These are all cheeses. They make, they're all gluten free, and they these ones are all vegan. So, they make tons of different stuff. I've got the Mexican style shreds. My dad's holding the. Um. Mild cheddar and meatless <laughs> squares. So these are all dairy free and animal product free? Yes. Right? Okay. So we're going to give them all a try. I've made them in different versions. Ooh. Oh, we have recipes here. This looks like lunch. Yes. So this one's pasta. We've got quesadillas, English muffins, tons of stuff. So what do you want to try first? You just give, give me something. I don't care. We'll try the quesadillas. Okay. These are made with the Mexican style shreds. Is that what? Yeah, they're called Mexican style shreds. So this is a shredded vegan cheese with a, uh, what type of tortilla is this? Um, a, a gluten free tortilla. A gluten free flour style tortilla? Yeah. Okay. Mm, that's a good blend. Yeah, this is their Mexican blend, so it's good on tortillas and. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you made it nice, about a, um, an eighth to a quarter inch of cheese in there. Mm-hmm. So, is it? you were able to make a, a, didn't take that much of the cheese to make a quesadilla, right? No. Got a lot left in the bag. Mm-hmm. Those look like eight ounce uh, bags, about a half a pound of cheese in each bag. Pretty yeah. good. Mm. Mm. So that's the Mexican blend, okay? I'm just over there. Okay. Now we're going to try the, I took... Pesto pasta, dairy free, and I mixed mozzarella cheese in it. So we're gonna see how that is. Well, let's see their mozzarella cheese container. Oh, it's the shredded. Yeah, it's shredded mozzarella cheese. So I'm. So that's this one here. Okay. And then we're gonna top it with some parmesan. Oh, okay. So they gave it a little parmesan. So this is like a um, little. Dog. I think I've had this one before. I think I've had the Parmesan before, haven't I? Um, Didn't similar. Another, oh, okay. yeah. No, okay. So it's like, it's these little dots. Little, like, standard Parmesan. Smells like Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. Now, I have had... Whoa, that's I've had strong. this I've had this pesto pasta stuff before. We have this quite often at home. But the cheese is a real nice addition to it. Yeah. We haven't been putting cheese on it, but uh, now that we have access and realize that there's some good cheeses out here. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, we can start adding cheese to our pasta. Mmm. Mmm. That yeah. was a very good parmesan too. Very mm -hmm. strong. Let me try another bite of that. I'm kinda of hungry right now, so the parmesan is mm. Reminds me of something, a very strong Parmesan flavor. Very good. No, it, it, you, it's absolutely identical to regular Parmesan. Since, you know, I can eat regular cheese, but that's... Uh, and then the uh, the mozzarella is just, is just fine in there. It's yeah. good. I like it. Totally different flavor than the Mexican one that we had. This one over... The Mexican one is a more cheddar-y kind of uh, blend. This one here, it tastes... It's a lot softer, milder. And then the, the texture of the Parmesan is perfect. Okay? Awesome. So, they also gave... They also make cream cheeses, and I decided to open up the original, but we also have a garlic and chive, so they can make they make that too, but we'll put that on some English muffins. So we're having the original cream cheese Yes, here? this is just okay. the classic plain. Now, are all these different? Or No, they're all the same. They're all the same, okay. So I have an English muffin here. Who, whose English muffins are these? These are gluten-free energies brand oh, English energy muffins. okay and yeah. then we've got a little cream cheese in there yeah now usually I put a little bit more than that but you know that's okay you know, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I should put about a quarter inch in there it's pretty good mm. 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 that's very tasty 
Now I can I can say I have had the um, a competitor's cream cheese, and this is every bit as good. Yeah, as I, as another. I mean, this this is very good. The texture is very nice. You notice, you know how in cream cheese when you eat a um, a bagel, you're supposed to have your teeth mark left in I there. I was just gonna mention. Oh yeah, that. I got the big old teeth right marks in, in there. there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Toasted bagel. No seeds in this one, huh? English muffin. Oh, that's why there's no seeds. Yeah. Oh, oh that's good. Yeah. All right. So, something interesting I find about this brand is that they make squares of cheese, like for crackers or to take in your lunchbox, and they're individually wrapped. I've never seen this before. Well, that could probably do about four or six crackers, that little one there. Yeah. Yeah. I turned them into a little bit bigger than that for pictures, but... Um, right, but I would think on a cracker I could cut that into six pieces and that would probably be good. Perfect. Good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. For a smaller cracker, not a great big cracker. You know, that would be like two or three. So we'll first try the, um, the white cheddar and meatless bacon on pretzel gluten-free crackers. Bacon? Yes. And white cheddar? No, is that that one up here? Yeah. Okay. So... Here's the cheese. We'll now, see, I think she made this a little bit big for that size cracker, see? Yeah, but... but yeah, you, know, I, you know what I'm going to do? Well, I'm going to take a second cracker and put it right on top. A little sandwich. That's okay. what I'm going to do. Okay. Well, I'm just going to eat it the way I made All it. Right, I was like this way. Mmm. Kind of a smoky... bacon mm. flavor, right? Mmm. It's very good. If you like like a smoked cheddar, That's it's just like good. that. Yeah. It's like a smoked cheddar. Cute little squares. Mm, that'd be very good to serve like at a party as hors d'oeuvres. You know, put that on the, mm -hmm. on the, um, you know, whatever kind of crackers you serve, you know. And the... Hmm. Uh, we've, they Interesting. Also... It does have a very bacony flavor, too. Yeah. That's but... vegan bacon, though. Yeah, meatless really... bacon. Oh, you know, meatless bacon. Yeah. It's vegan bacon. Okay. It's actually very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. They all, Now they make another style. It's called... What's it called? American, I think? Mm. I'm sorry, I was hungry. White American. So this is like your standard American cheese. America. American cheese on a cracker? Yeah. Okay, well I'm going to stick with the theme. I'm having a cheese sandwich here with my crackers. Whoa, that's not strong. Hmm. Yeah, that one's not smoky. No, if you don't, if if smoky isn't your thing, that's that's your thing here. But it, instead of tasting like American, it more tastes like a um, it doesn't like taste a jack. American. It tastes like a jack cheese almost, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I would say that doesn't exactly taste like American cheese. That tastes, and I don't consider American like true cheese anyway. I consider that like almost cheese, right? You know, American. So that tastes more like a uh, either a mozzarella or a provolone, like a provolone. Yeah, provolone. Like a provolone. That's more like yeah, a provolone than American. Mm -hmm. They called that provolone. It would be right on the mm -hmm. money yeah. with the way it is. They're actually closer to provolone because it tastes more like an aged and doesn't have the taste of American. Now I love American and grilled cheese, and I like other cheeses and grilled cheese too, but not many other ways. You know, maybe mm -hmm. a burger or grilled cheese or something. But the more sophisticated people who maybe like a cheddar or something on that, that might be a better choice, you know, for... Yeah. Well. Mm. Well, I thought all their products were delicious, and I would buy them on a regular basis for all of my meals. Oh, I'm, sure that, I'm sure we'll be eating these all the time. Yeah, they'll be great additions. So I want to thank Go Veggie for supplying all these products, and definitely give them a try. They're in your local grocery store. You're usually near the produce section. Thank you for lunch. Thanks. <laughs>